it, it used to be like Johnny True Love. I was like, I'm just kind of tough money. This is like almost on some alter ego shit. Okay. Like it's hella, you know, hella, hella little names I got for myself. What what a bond rips belly? Tell the streets where they come from. A uh, bond is actually an acronym for Victory Over Naysayers. Okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, bond rips Valley, of course, you know Valley World. That's my company, you know Valley World Records. Okay. Uh, like that's what I'm trying to, you know, uh, that's what I'm trying to build up right now. You know, by just working, staying consistent, okay. dropping projects. I feel that, man. We live on the back streets with your girl, Cole, man. We got the homie in here. He always touching in with me, tapping in, communicate with me. I appreciate you for coming, fucking with me, man. Let the streets know who you is, where you're from, and what you got coming, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. My name is Vaughn, man. I'm from Houston, Texas. Hey. Old city to be exact, you know what I'm saying? I'm here on the back streets with Cole, you know what appreciate I'm saying? Appreciate you. Got a project dropping on, you know, June 27, 34, man, for the city, man. Heat, I promise. It's a Heat. little EP, like five, six songs, man. Okay. Five, six, five, six bangers, though. What's man. the title? What we titled? Uh, 34, man. 34, you know, uh, mo most of the most prominent sports players in Houston numbers have been 34s from the Nolan Ryans, the Earl Camels, you know, Kim Elijah. Hey. So I just want to keep it as Houston as possible, man. Why is it important to keep your, uh, not keep your music, but keep what you're doing as Houston as possible? Because I think from the way in, in which I write music, Mm -hmm. And I, I I I conduct my music. A lot of people don't feel like, oh, he can't be from the city because he's spitting or whatever. Not to sound arrogant, you know, I'm right. to my own horn, but you know, I spit with the best of them, you know what I'm saying? So right. it's like I want people to understand, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I may sound different, but uh -huh. at the end of the day, like my heart is in the city, man. Like I love the city. This city grow me and show me, you know what I'm saying? Like and I need the world to know this. So okay. that's why it's important I keep it as Houston as possible, man. So people that's watching outside of Houston, man, if they was to come here, man, what would you take in order to get some good food at? Lotus, man. Oh, uh, okay. Gotta get that loud pack, my boy. Okay. Gotta get that loud pack, gotta get that hot sausages. Uh, <laughs> man, Burns barbecue, man. Hey, so many spies, man. On, hey, man. Hey. Hey, man. Oh, okay, man. I, I fuck with burners, you know. I'm a barbecue. I prefer barbecue over seafood. That's just uh, me. Okay. Man. So, you know, man, so many spots, man. It would be about like a three, four hour video. Man. Three, four hours. <laughs> okay. Who did you listen to coming up? Man, a lot of Wayne, man. I listen to a lot of Wayne. Okay. A lot of Pimp. Uh, okay. Came up on a lot of SUC. I mean, I was younger, you know what I'm saying? I really wasn't as much immersed into it as like my father and them, but it definitely like rubbed off on okay. me. You know what I'm saying? I, I still remember, like I was telling my partner, I remember, you know, when Top Drop had dropped, I remember being on the way, you know, to Little Greyhound Racetrack. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's memories like that. I'm like five or six at the time, but right. I'm 24, 25 now. Like, that sticks with me now. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a good ear for music here, man. We was talking off camera about some of the greats, man. Do you prefer, let me ask you this, mixtape Wayne or album Wayne, or it really don't matter? Mixtape, mixtape Wayne, ah. mixtape Wayne I prefer, but okay. it, it really don't matter. Okay. My favorite Wayne was Carter Two Wayne. I felt like that was when like man we was at the pinnacle of this whole you know yeah. thing like yeah because. Cause I mean a lot of people prefer the Carter Three, but I feel like the, the Carter, Carter Three. Two, the Carter Three is a bad motherfucker. That Carter Two. But I feel like the Carter Three we got wasn't even the best Carter. Cause remember all those leaks and shit. Mm -hmm. Ask them hoes. We missed out on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Ask many them bangers. Bad uh, like we we missed out on so many joints. So it was like I don't know, but I prefer. I just prefer. You know, Jay even shouted them out. Yeah. The goat. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, so would he be the top yeah. five of all time? Would you consider him or argue for? For sure, oh, okay. I think he's the most influential artist, probably behind Tupac. Ooh, that's yeah. gonna be up, man. That's you gonna ruffle some feathers oh, with man. that. Like, it, it, why to, you say that? To not to deny the fact would be disingenuous because look at the way he changed the whole the whole landscape. Mm. When he was first singing on Prostitute, you know, niggas was like, "What is Wayne up to?" Or like when he was singing on Lollipop, mm. and he was like. Now you you turn on the radio and we got auto tune and all that everywhere you go. You right about it. Niggas' whole career is based off auto tune, getting these face tattoos. Even though niggas been get face tattoos, he right. definitely did start that. Niggas right. definitely been get face tattoos. But he made the uh, want to be a rock star. star cool. Yeah, that's why I was going with rock star because if not him, I would get into like the Dipset dudes. Yeah, they was. But even with Dipsets, they still was trying to keep it street. Wayne right. like. Playing guitar, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, right. that nigga's like, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah, he got the, you know, tell me something good, you right. know what I'm saying? I still feel like his international players anthem hit that verse. It's so under, That's it's grossly like underrated. Top five really. verses man, all the time. Man, like, it's so To get on that thing, it just goes. But, like, I feel like Pimp is definitely top five, because I'm from the South, like, right. a lot, so a lot of my shit is, like, dominated by Southern artists, you right. know what I'm saying? But I feel like Pimp, 
what Pimp stood for and like how Pimp articulated shit he felt, I feel like is what made Pimp what he was and right. what made him so, uh, what, it, what, what ingratiated him to the people because here it is, you got it too well, like you got a man gonna speak his mind, then give a fuck. Like for him to say what he said about Atlanta was, at the that time- That interview was probably one of my favorite interviews to hear. You know what I'm saying? Like at the time for him to say what he said, when they was at that, at the, where they were, mm -hmm. show that like, fuck the fame, like this how I feel. And you gotta respect it as a creative cause now I feel like people, uh, they kind of suppress how they feel. Right. Cause they don't want to be ridiculed. Right. But like Pimp didn't give a fuck. That's why he won my top five. Yeah, Pimp C, man. You think he'll pull up today's Texas rap game? Man, I think, I think he would. I okay. think I think initially he'll probably have his problems with it, but once he talked to a lot of these young fellas, he'll realize like a lot of them love the city mm -hmm. in the same manner he did. It's just different how they represent themselves. As long as they true to themselves, I don't think Pippa had no problem. Man, but if, I mean, if, I he a, if, they, if, if an artist is coming out and like say he might be weird, but he that's who he is and he's true to himself, I mean, you can't really hate that. Because then that makes you look bad. Like, mm -hmm. so I think Pimp a, a, a rock with a few artists. Not everybody though. I feel it. Why did you decide to go with the titles like Love One and Love Two? Where did it come from? Uh, Love is kind of like a. It's. I wanted to be like a mixtape series done. Oh, like, okay. In, in the old fashion of like you know, uh, mm -hmm. I remember when Drake dropped the S. Dot Carters. Uh, one of the uh, one of the drops he had did one of the releases he had a mixtape where he was like rapping over other people beats or whatever. Right. Like, that's what a pump it up freestyle and you know shit like that had dropped. So it was like it always had been in hip hop. So I wanted to take it back to that. Now people so greedy and they just they want to do streams, streams, streams to where it's like, nah, like I mean that's cool. You should want to do the streams, but you should also want to do it in a manner of okay. Let me drop some material just for free for people to consume. Like, let me show you the pen is still nice, you know, like, mm -hmm. like shit like that. Like, I feel like you should drop them project to kind of keep you sharp and, you know, mm -hmm. like, that's why I did it. Mm -hmm. just be doing, or they push what they want to push right. and what they want to do. Like, okay. always like being full of rebels. Or, I feel or that, I feel that. What do you think about Travis making it from out of there? It was crazy because I know, like, I, nobody I knew had like Travis Scott on their radar. It's almost like mm -hmm. Travis Scott just popped up out of nowhere. Like for me, right. for me, okay. and I, like I'm pretty, I I, 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 ain't, I ain't gonna say I just listen to underground music, but like that's mostly what I like listen to, I listen to right. mainstream. Already, so like for you. him to come out of nowhere, like at the time I was like, damn, cause the first project I heard about him was Al Farrell. Mm. So it was like, uh, that was like, I think 2012, 20, yeah. 2013, 2013, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's like, you know, he had came out of nowhere. Mm. He had came out of nowhere. And I had always seen him in like the writer's credits on like Kanye's album, but I always thought he was just like a writer gotcha. or some shit. Gotcha. But I gotcha. didn't know he was an artist. I gotcha, I gotcha, man. Talk about the single, Revenge, man. Uh, Revenge is just something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it was uh, produced by the homie, man. It's just something I wanted to, um, it just, it's just a lot of stuff. Like, I felt like I had to get off my chest, like, as far as, like, just different shit I was dealing with at the time. Like, when I was first, uh, when I had, like, first doing, start doing music, mm -hmm. I had like a sign of management deal. It was a it was a terrible like management deal. What made you do that? Be, because it like it allowed me like free studio time and like oh, okay. I, like with me and like I had to come up out of that. Like I just wanted to be an artist. Right. Like I didn't really want to like have to deal with the business side, but like you have to. Though. You have to. You know, yeah. or you gonna get swindled. And here it is. You're gonna be fifty million out of. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you could have got. So it's I like that. I feel it. I had to, you know what I'm saying? So revenge is kind of like just me like blowing off some steam. But I feel that. Just genuine feeling. I feel that. So just speaking of a bad management deal or like even a bad deal going wrong, wrong, excuse me. Do it, do you advise an artist to stay independent or sign with another? Or would you, my, damn that, would you sign or stay independent? I would sign. I, I mean, it depends on the money from a label. A lot of niggas would be like, oh, if you get a $10 million advance or a $5 million advance, that's a loan at the end of the day. But it's five million you didn't have before. Now it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? What you, you got to make it work million. for you. But like everybody businessmen in the comments, though, you rarely ever see them in boardrooms. You feel what I'm saying? So mm. you can't really let nobody know comment and dictate how you run your business. You think know what I'm saying? So, Thanks. I, I don't know, man. So to me, as, as a label coming with that money, because me, I don't need the icy chain, none of that. I'm a right. real minimalistic type of nigga. Right. So to it. me, that shit don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I just need the money, the ends, so I could grow my shit. You know what I'm okay. saying? I, so I would you sign? Would you do you believe in artists signing to other artists? 
No. Okay. Cause I I I, I feel like uh, it, especially like if they still active now, if they no longer active, gotcha. it's cool. But if they active, active. no, cause gotcha. then but it it becomes a competition, and a lot of people not gonna play the back burner like a Wayne or a Ross when you surpass them. They gonna hate. It. Man, speak on it, man. Speak on that a little bit, man. Why why people won't play the background and if this artist is the hottest on the label, let him get his shot. I think insecurities. A lot of people Ooh. a lot of people rap because to me, and this is how I just feel, it's not for everybody, so I don't want anybody here talking about it. But if you, if you feel like that, then I probably am talking about it. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of niggas just just rap allows them to be something they not. Almost like in the same sense. Remember, we used to play Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Niggas can be CJ. Niggas go hit the police. Niggas go, you know, shoot people. But they ain't like, willing to do that. You know, but like the same thing with this rap shit. So it's like, man, here it is. I've been able to live this facade as long as I want to. You think you finna, you know what I'm saying? Like they never had power. And right. Rap is powerful for a lot of niggas. I but, a rapper can say, well, your hair like this, and a, mo a motherfucker mm -hmm. gonna be hair like this. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, it's not. To me, only thing, I love what it's doing, love where it's going, but it's no origi originality. Yeah. That's all the thing that's missing. Like I say, I'm all for the youth shit, rocking and dancing and shit. Like I say, with Sugar Hill Game and all them niggas yeah. was dancing and yeah. shit. The 90s. Like, so it's really ain't nothing new under the sun. It's just the way they going about it, man. I appreciate you for rocking with me, man. Let the streets know where they can find the music, the IG, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you got, man, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Instagram and Twitter is Von <coughs> Reps Valley. Uh, my my YouTube is Valley Road Records. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's all Valley I have right now. Okay. Yeah, Valley, Valley Road Bird. Records, all spelled correctly, Valley. You know what I'm saying? World Records. You know what I'm saying? Von Rest Valley, V O N R E P V A L L E Y. You know what I'm saying? Follow me, man. Fuck with me. Other artists from the city, fuck with me if you're trying to create. Come fuck with your boy. Ain't no egos over here. I'm trying to rock with everybody. Everybody, with everybody man. I love this city. Let's bring this bitch up. Let's get this bitch pumping, man. Man, I'm going. This is single too, man. Revenge that I've been playing on the story and a lot. So if y'all wanna tap in with him, he do features and everything. Let me know, man. Fuck with me. Who did the beat you say?